Hi, welcome to Enter the Bunker, where we launch you into thriving. Each week, we talk about a different virtue that can be used as a building brick to build your own personal bunkers. We share personal stories, as well as tips and tricks to help you thrive instead of survive. So sit down, relax, and enter the bunker. Welcome to Enter the Bunker. This week's building brick is Grace. My name is Kelly. And I'm Jonathan. And we're going to go over the meaning of grace. Great. I feel like grace, like when I, we, faith was last week. Yes. And grace is this week. I feel like thinking about it right now, I feel like they're really similar. So I'm wondering what all, what we're going to, I'm, I'm curious. Let's grace get into, is quite different than faith. Okay. We'll see. Let's get into it. Uh, so the meaning, openness to the bounties of life, trusting that we are held in God's love through all circumstances. Reflecting gentleness and beauty in a way we act, speak, and move. So that meaning is, <laughs> it's, a, it's a double meaning. Yeah. Right? So openness to the bounties of life, uh, trusting that we are held in God's love through all circumstances. So when we say all circumstances, the thing is, is that grace is something that is undeserved. You know, it's like, it's something that you receive regardless of what the circumstance is. So Grace is something that even the worst of people will receive, right? And so it's really hard for you to understand that because we kind of have this idea of that, like, you know, only good people should be rewarded and bad people should be punished. Yeah. But yeah. grace is universal. Yeah. It, it's just, it's there for everybody. <laughs> wow. Well, it's God's grace. So it's, right. it's pretty hard to understand, but it's God's love too, right? So you got, you got something that really, like, just, it, it trans. It transcends everything. Think about if you had a child and, you know, they just grew up to be a terrible person that did all kinds of terrible things. You still love them? Mm -hmm. Still, you know, you're still going to have grace in terms of how you take care of them okay. and everything else, right? So yeah. if you think of it in, that, in those terms, then you can imagine on a, on a massive, like the universe scale, like what, what grace is. And yeah, then in terms, of, and in terms of like reflecting in gentleness and beauty, the way we act, speak and move, like that's just how you carry yourself with grace. You know, it's, it's a little different than just- Okay, the, the, it's not necessarily given. Not necessarily the spiritual grace, but right. it's something that you, you learn in terms of like how you carry yourself. So, uh, you know, if somebody's a, basically somebody who's not a poor, like for example, if you like lose at something, yeah. do you do you like- Throw the board game across the table? Yeah, you, you just like throw it around, rah, 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 yeah. like, or do you take it with grace? Right. And you just say, you know, oh, well, better next, next time, good game, you know, yeah. and so forth, right? So that's that's being graceful about uh, how you how you uh, handle things. So. Interesting, I, I, interesting how there's like two takes on it there. Yeah. Okay, let's to get into some quotes. The first one: "Grace is the voice that calls us to change and then gives us the power to pull it off." Max Lucando, an American author and minister. Mm -hmm. uh, second one: "Grace is the ability to see positivity in everything that happens with you." Stand Guru, a yoga guru. Uh, third, wherever life plants you, bloom with grace. Anonymous. And fourth quote, when you finally learn a person's behavior has more to do with their own internal struggle than it ever did with you, you learn grace. Allison Aris. I like that quote. I think I that's my favorite. I do too. Yeah. Uh, probably because there's a lesson in that. Yeah. I feel like I, I literally read the quote and learned a lesson. That's, that's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. What do you mean? Hmm. I've never thought about that. Well, remember the example I just gave you about if you had a, if you had a child and yeah. they were just, they behaved in a, in a bad way as they, after they grew up and so forth. And it's kind of out of your hands now. There's nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. uh, but you understand from them, from growing up with them, you understand the struggles they go through. Maybe it because, maybe it's because of something that happened to them uh, with, with a friend or maybe because of uh another family member that just caused them so much pain and suffering that they grew up to just be, you know, jaded or something yeah. like that, right? So then you understand that they're going through that internal struggle. And because you understand that, you you treat everything they do with grace, right? Right. And so that's the same sort of thing. So imagine, you know, God's all knowing. So of course there's nothing you can hide. You know, so you're just gonna so imagine all these things in terms of like how people uh, carry themselves and the and and the challenges they have and and whatnot and 
knowing that it's just their own internal struggle that they're going through. And that, of course, there's grace to be given in, in those circumstances. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. I kind of thought of it too, like, I feel like I put the blame on myself a lot. So I guess when I read this, it's like, or I'm thinking that what I did is my fault or why they're upset is my fault. It's like, why am I thinking about myself? Do you know what I mean? Like, right. yeah, I need to, I don't know. Like once you learn their behavior, you kind of got it. You don't, you don't think about yourself. You realize it's, it's not you, it's them. So I guess I don't know. It's definitely not me. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Now. All right. Grace is everything that is good in the world. The definition I just read to you says reflecting gentleness and beauty in a way we act, speak and move. Think about it for a second. If everything we said or everything we did was done while trying to show gentleness and beauty, how good would that be? Instantly, a lot of troubles plaguing the world would be diminished, if not extinguished. Unfortunately, it isn't always easy to show grace. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Try to always be a little kinder than necessary. A little grace goes a long way and never goes out of style. Yeah, I feel like so. being kind is graceful. Is grace? Yeah. Well, yeah. Once again, uh, you think about if you're kind to someone who is going through their own internal struggles, like yeah, we just talked yeah, about the quote, yeah. that's showing grace. Right? Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So you can give grace and have grace. So you can show grace <laughs> and have grace. Yeah. Okay. Right. So <laughs> imagine, imagine if we had grace on social media. Yeah. How do you think that would look? Very different from today, right? Because there's literally none that. You know. What are we talking about, Grace? Is it, not a person. No. <laughs> so oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. No. My brother's uh, sister-in-law's name is Grace, and that's just kind of what I'm like. When you said something about Grace being on Facebook, that's instantly. So right. during this whole show, you've been thinking about your no, sister-in-law. Just, no, just right now, right this second, when you brought up Facebook, that's okay. why I got confused. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> no, I mean. If social media around the world was to have people behave with more grace, yes, we would probably have more constructive discourse in terms of arriving at understanding things better. Yeah. Right? People wouldn't be flipping out the way they do no. now. You wouldn't have this us versus them sort of thing happening all the time. It would just be much more harmonious, right? And the reason for that is because of grace. Like it just it takes that because you got to, if somebody, if, if you disagree with somebody, if somebody is, is saying something which you just don't agree with, yeah, that's fine. Of course. Right? Yeah. But to be able to approach it with grace is one thing. The way we do it now is we weaponize. Like yeah. we just attack. Yeah. You know, it's like we have to crush them so that whatever their position is, we're just going to destroy them. And I think that's a lot of the time because people's like self-defense walls kind of go up. Yeah. They, the, the, they go into self-defense. Yeah. But. Again, like, what are you defending yourself from? Yeah. Like, is it is it that you need everybody to think the same way as you? Because that seems to be the trend or what a lot of people feel like they have to do. Right. And this comes from a lot of what the media does in terms of the narratives that are being created today. Yeah. And driving people into that way of thinking. Yeah. And it's it's really damaging. And so if we if we're able to realize this building brick in terms of like you know we we've got if we have our own building brick of grace and mm -hmm. we can carry that with us and everything yeah other people are, don't necessarily have that they don't they've got their own internal issues yeah right yeah and if you can recognize that and just be able to approach it with grace it's often very it's something that's very innocuous that that allows people to actually disarm themselves like mm -hmm. i've noticed sometimes if, if i'm in social media and i see a, a series of comments Somebody will go in there and they will actually, they will show grace in what they're saying and they will, and then people will come at them and rah, 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 and, yeah. go out and try to like, try to like Attack pile them. on them. Yeah. But then they just, they come back and they just stay reasonable and they stay like, grace. you know, saying, you know, thank you for your opinion. I appreciate it. And things like this. Yeah. And, and of course it, it just, it, sometimes it, that makes people matter. <laughs> it may make them matter, but guess what? They become disarmed. Yeah. Like they, they now it's like, where do I go? With where that? do I go? What do I right? do? Kill them with kindness. Yeah. Is yeah. what it is, right? <laughs> so I like uh, that. So yeah, it's it's better to it's better to carry yourself with that kind of grace, I think. And if we could see more of that in the world, it's it's more inspiring for everybody, right? It is. Um, so like we said, 
Try to be, always try to be a little kinder than necessary. Grace goes a long way. And you can join us for part two where we're going to go over how you can be more graceful. We'll see you there. We'll see you there. Thank you for listening to Enter the Bunker. Make sure to follow us on Instagram where you can share your story and also look at behind the scenes of how we make our podcast. You can watch the video version of this podcast on YouTube by simply searching Enter the Bunker. Tune in next time as we launch into thriving. (laughs) 